This is KION News Channel 546 at 5. Good evening. Our top story today, the Central Coast here. We're expecting to see an increase in the number of people seeking employment now. Thanks for joining us tonight here for KION News at 5. I'm Veronica Macias. Nearly 9 million Americans nationwide will no longer receive federal funds that had been approved here to provide relief to families impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. For an idea of how many people here will go without benefit checks, we looked at unemployment numbers here on the Central Coast just for the month of July. In Monterey County, there were over 15,000 claims. In San Benito, 2,300. And in Santa Cruz, 9,000. And here's what it looks like when it comes to unemployment rates. 6.9% in Monterey County, 7.2% in San Benito, and 6.2%. 6% in the county of Santa Cruz. KION's Jonathan Sadavia spoke with the Monterey County Workforce Development today about their efforts here and what they're doing to help these people find jobs. Jonathan? Veronica, help has ended for thousands of people on the Central Coast who received a $300 weekly check in unemployment benefits. The Monterey County Workforce Development Board says they're making sure they help those people. It's been a while. It's been uh, almost two years for me. This man from Salinas does not want to share his identity. He's embarrassed about his situation, even though there are millions like him. He used to work in the agricultural sector. However, since suffering an injury in addition to the pandemic, he's been searching for employment that fits his needs. And his unemployment check has allowed him to put food on the table. It means a lot. It means a lot for me and my, my family. Laura Kirshner, a business services specialist, says their office is already seeing an increase in people seeking help in finding a job. They're hoping they could be a resource as more people start working to get hired. Uh, now that the pandemic unemployment insurance has expired as of uh, the 4th of September, we anticipate that there'll be an increase in driving people back to work. Um, and that, that may be the impetus that's uh, needed to get um, the economy spurred again and going. For those looking to get back into the workforce, Kirshner says the top industries include agriculture, hospitality, healthcare, and the tourism industry. So a lot of a lot of people like to think, oh, they're they're just you know they're just lazy because they're they're being, you know, they're relying on UI. I think there are also uh, people who have uh, childcare needs who can't afford to uh, go back to work. She also says that the nearly 16,000 unemployed people in Monterey County may also be facing transportation challenges. However, she also says there may be lots of people who are just waiting until the last minute. Monterey County Workforce Development has a job fair monthly, and this month they're hoping to register around 100 people to meet with about 20 different employers. Well, we've just got a number of industries that need people. We've got an upcoming virtual job fair this next week on September 15th. We encourage people to register and sign up for that. That's a great way to um, get back to work. It's a job fair that this time around will most likely be attended by many now that they have no choice but to try anything to return to work. Veronica, for residents who would like to know more about the upcoming jog fair, visit our website at kion546.com or you can reach their office at 831-796-3331. Veronica, back to you.